Hi, I'm Chef Rafael. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Rafael. Today's episode, we are grilling once again, and I'm going to show you how to make a perfect plate of nyama choma. So this is leg of goat, uh, the front leg. Uh, it's also called a shoulder. Uh, the meat is super soft. This video, uh, you learn how to make the marinade, the marinade that I use to uh, marinate this food and cook it together with the meat. It's super simple. I've shown you tricks on how to do it in the oven if you do not have the, the grill that I have. Um, watch till the end and see how simple it is. In the meantime, let me grab one of these and then go and dig in while you watch the rest of the video. If you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and um, my channel is all about making you a better home cook or home baker because i have baking videos and cooking videos uh, today we are grilling so i'll show you now first of all what i'll start with is the simplest of marinades that you can use and this marinade is not necessary to keep the goat in that marinade for long it's, li it's literally just to flavor the meat a little bit extra while it's cooking um, and you're going to start with that so the ingredients for the ingredients i have rosemary i have i will use lemon juice um, oil cooking oil soy sauce and black pepper now the soy sauce is actually the salt for this uh, meat um, if you don't have soy sauce you can still use salt uh, salt and pepper uh, the lemon juice is to add flavor and what I usually say when, whenever it comes to a marinade, lemon juice is actually meant for us tenderizing. Um, I know the meat I'm having is not that tough, so this will still be okay. Flavor wise and tenderizing, this will also work. So I'll, the first thing I'll do is squeeze out the, the juice of the uh, lemon. So this is one. I actually don't need much of the lemon juice for even this whole piece of meat. So one should be enough. You can even put two, especially if you're going to make a lot of the marinade. Um, and then the other good thing about starting with the lemon juice, like I have, is I'll be able now to scoop out all these seeds before I add the rest of the ingredients. So seeds are out. Um, I'll add black pepper so you can use the powdered black pepper I personally I prefer this French freshly ground one but you can use also the powdered one now after the black pepper I'll add uh, some soy sauce so the soy sauce is two things it's the um, the salt and also the flavor and also the color it will add to when when i'm using it it will add to the whole darkness of the meat but mostly flavor so that's that and then i'll chop some uh, rosemary finely chopped it so just two uh, two sprigs is enough um, and then so that's a good mixture now you can actually even do this on in a blender when you do this in a blender you can even probably add um, garlic ginger and blend it all together now I'm going to add oil um, about a hundred ml of oil that should be enough then mix it now to mix it I'm actually going to use the rosemary and the rosemary that I'm using this is just a tip this rosemary is the same one I'll use to baste the yam the meat so when it's fully mixed 
should look something like that. It's dark, I'll taste it. So that's good. Looks good, the taste is okay. I can taste the lemon, um, the seasoning, the salt. Now for the meat. Now the meat, um, I have two options. I can actually leave it as it is. Um, just cook it without scoring it, but um, in case you're in a rush, you want it to cook faster, you can make some uh, like that, cuts. This is optional. Uh, and this will actually make it cook faster. Um, then on both sides. Like that. Then a little bit here. So this is the front leg and this one also takes a shorter time to cook. Um, and then from there what I can do and actually I will do is um, apply the marinade so mix it and then apply like that so the cuts will actually make the marinade go inside Apply on both sides. Now, of course, for this, you can also use salt and pepper, or even just salt. If you have good quality meat, salt will just be enough. So that's about it. Um, now, um, one thing you can do is leave it like that. You can wrap it with a cling film. And let the marinade just soak in for a few maybe for two hours or even three and then start cooking it but for me i'll just start cooking it right now i just need to set my up my grill hot before start cooking so grill is hot can feel it um you don't want it too hot but the good thing about a gas grill you can always regulate the heat Again, I always mention this, when you have a charcoal grill, my trip whenever you're using a charcoal grill is to, after the, the, the um, charcoal is red hot, actually it's white hot, it's, it starts from a, a, a flame and then, and then after the flame where the charcoal is still black, it will start turning white. That, that's when it's ready to start grilling. Um, what I usually like doing if I'm using a charcoal grill is I put a layer of ash. Um, so that ash actually prevents the flare-ups whenever now you place the meat on the grill. So this side first. So that's the flare-up I'm talking about. When you have a, a layer of ash, especially on the charcoal one, that oil that is dripping from the meat to the to the fire will not flare up. Uh, right now, I'm starting on high heat. I want this meat to brown on one side, um, and then I'll reduce the heat to medium when I'm turning it to the other side. So, um, while in the cooking process, so right now it has taken about. Uh, uh, about five minutes into the cooking process. Now, the most important thing whenever you're cooking uh, a, a big piece of meat like this, there's two options you can do. You can either start on high heat, which is what I started with, and at that point, what will happen is that the meat will uh, brown on one side, and then even on the meat itself, you can see the cooking is happening. I can already see that some bubbling is happening on top that means the meat is actually uh, um, getting hot onto the second side but what you have to be really careful about is uh, when turning it now i'm going to turn it so when turning it like that the whole idea is just to make sure that it does not burn um, now the score marks that i did will make it cook faster, but at the, the downside of doing that is that it can easily dry up. Okay. 
so uh, again the idea is to make sure that it does not dry up so i've turned it uh i'd reduce my fire so i'll increase it slightly um uh, and then so that the other side starts to brown now the browning part of this meat is also really important now assuming you do not have a gas grill um the first thing you want to do especially with the charcoal grill um brown it on both sides like it has and then even on this side what i'm going to do is take my marinade with my rosemary brush and then apply on this side this prevents it from drying up and it also makes sure that the marinade is soaking up into the meat um, but mostly the drying part so i'll now let the other side cook and at some point i'll show you what you can do um, in terms of making it cook evenly uh, the good thing about this one is when i cover it it's like an oven but in case you don't have you have an open grill which does not have a cover i'll show you what you can do after the second side is brown so now i'm um, turn now i want to check on it now um the other way of knowing that the meat um is is continuing to cook is um you start seeing uh, some liquid coming out from the top right now i can already see it there's some uh, red liquid here which is like blood um that uh, one way another way it's cooked is that this meat will pull off from the from the bone so far so good i like the color the color is also from the rose from the soy sauce that we put but at this point now again if you have um you don't have this you don't have one that you can cover you probably have that is open like this so it's at this point now that this side is already cooked it's already browned yes like that you want it to cook evenly so you can actually cover it with the foil um, cover it completely with an aluminium foil um, you can either put it in an oven now cook it in an oven especially if you're cooking many pieces you can throw them in the oven like three pieces in the oven or depending on the size of the oven while covered in a foil and let now the meat start cooking like it's steaming inside the foil uh, in my case I don't have a foil I actually wanted to show you how you can actually cook it uh, without the foil uh, the foil will actually make it even cook slightly faster than doing like this. But the other thing about having uh, the cover is it's, it's also like an oven. So when it's covered, the heat will generate, the meat will cook on the inside, I'll reduce the fire. It's all about regulation of the fire. Uh, if you go into this part of the meat, you can see it's, um, uh, it's red. Now, like I said, because I actually made, made core marks, it's cooking slightly faster and you can see the inside. Um, um, so now I'll give it another 15 minutes um, while covered. This side for sure, it's fully cooked. I can tell because the meat has pulled away from the bone. There's no blood coming out. This is the deepest part of the meat, so it will take some time. And before that, before I cover it, I will take my marinade once again with my rosemary brush and then apply on this side to get the flavor into the meat on this side and also it doesn't dry up. So the same thing when you put it in a foil, also put the marinade in it for it to continue cooking together with the marinade and now it's not going to be long before it's fully ready moments later so now the meat is actually ready how i know it's ready is you do not want it to uh, whenever you see these parts whereby the meat has pulled away from the meat um, from the bone that is cooked you do not want it to overcook there's this cut that I've made on this part uh, and it shows the meat is ready. It's actually dry here. Uh, and it's also because this meat is close to the fire. So this one will cook faster than the one on the inside. Now, um, when you check on this side, there's even some liquid coming out on here. That is liquid coming out from inside the meat. And the longer you keep it in the fire, the more it will dry. So right now, 
I'm going to cover it. I'll get, I'll get some foil and cover it and then I'll show you what to do next. So now uh, meat is ready. I've already turned off the heat. Now um, I'm going to put it on the grill, I mean the foil um, and cover it. So the whole point right now is to rest it. Uh, you want, you don't want to cut the meat immediately after you've cooked it like that. So cover it like that. So I'll keep it like this for about um, five to 10 minutes uh, while covered. It will rest. Um, if you start cutting it right now, what will happen is the juices will fall off, uh, will pour out of the meat, making it extra dry when you're eating it. Um, so after this, we'll start cutting it up and we'll see how it looks on the inside. A few moments later. So now um, it's been about seven minutes um, since I covered it with the foil. Again, the whole point of doing that is to rest the meat. You do not want to cut it uh, too soon. Also there, I think when you cover it, it tends to soften on the outside when it's from the heat, from the dry heat. If you had put it in the oven, um, which is the same procedure of covering it with the foil or if you're not using the oven you just set it set it at a place where there's no direct heat it will steam and cook uh, until it's done while covered in the oven mine i didn't do that i covered it at the last moment and now i'm going to cut it so now it's definitely softer i can still see the juices coming out from the meat that's a good thing um, now when cutting it um, some pieces will be drier than others so you cut it till the bone um, each side just be careful um, now this is good it's a little bit on the well done side but most people prefer meat when it's well done. So the first thing I want to do is just to shave off most of the meat. So this one looks a little bit pink. Uh, it's still, it's actually well done. It's juicy, it's nice. But in case you want it to be extra well done, and this is what I'll do as well. Um, and to get more flavor, I'll chop it up into small pieces. I'll put it in a pot and then cook it some more until and then add the marinade and when i do that i'm also adding the flavor into the this inside meat and then it will be extra delicious side I'm going to cut the, the joints so when it comes to the joint is finding that spot whereby the bone bends like that you can even twist it or just you don't have to chop it off there's a joint here and that's where you just cut till it detaches from the, from the rest of the part. So this one I'll remove most of the meat as well. It's just a matter of shaving it off. So some people prefer um, eating the meat from the bone. So you leave some on the bone. In case you feel it's a little bit on the rear side for you, you can always just put this piece back to the fire to cook slightly more. And when you do that, apply more of the marinade on the inside as well. So after removing the meat from the bone, what you need to do now is for these big meat, cut them into smaller pieces. Prefer cutting them into cubes or a bite-sized uh, piece. It's soft, it's juicy. 
But remember, if you want it to have extra flavor, put it in a pot. And then sprinkle the marinade that we had and fry it like you're cooking, like you're frying it on the, on the pot. If you don't have a marinade, all you need to do is have some salt on the side, dip the salt, dip the meat on the salt and enjoy. Now the meat is ready and all I did after removing it from the pot is serve it on a plate. Now when you're serving it from the pot, just make sure it's hot. Remember the marinade is what now gives it extra flavor and here it is. So um, of course it's a little bit different in terms of color but to be honest this is perfect. Um, it's, it's, it's soft um, if I taste it. I can taste the rosemary the soy sauce that whole flavor and, uh, and it's perfect and remember what I say is even if you don't have this marinade you can just sprinkle some salt or um, dip it in, a, in, a, in a, some salt and enjoy it but at least now you know how to cook it the bones are on the side now yeah, the meat is nice the bones are on the side all you need to do now is for that person personally I don't like meat on bone but um, for the ones who like it, it's there. And then you're going to serve it with some kachumbari. This is perfect. This combination of meat and kachumbari, perfect. With ugali or whatever you prefer. And I'm um, signing out. This has been another episode of uh, Cooking with Chef Raphael. Um, today I was grilling. And uh, if you've not done so, please consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, goodbye.